<laughs> hey everyone, welcome to the Q Talk Show. And as you guys know, when Q talks, everyone listens. This episode today, we are here with Andre Alexander, the Reiki Healer. Welcome back, Focus. Flo's Grocery, an online grocery platform that supplies black, indigenous, and people of color owned brands. Shop now at floydsgrocery.com or follow at Floyd's Grocery on Instagram. Or take a picture on your phone. I might slide on you later, and after that, leave me alone. Know about how you be moving, can't even cuff you on the low. Baby, I ain't sorry. You should know just how it go. Money over whatever, she kinda fit, then let me go. Get around like I'm too pot, no, I ain't stopping for no hope. Do whatever yeah. you wanna, can't get my vibe, and that's for sure. Look, girl, that's I see show. how you moving from that, I knew it was no go. But she back, so I hit it, then I go. Forest bro, sitting back, I blow up. Oh, give a fuck about a credit. Ain't trusting on these bitches, that's for sure. That's for sure, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. I run it up, can't trust no hoe, yeah. That's for sure, I get it up and get it going, yeah. That's for sure, I run it up, can't trust no hoe, yeah. Bitches be all up on me, but I always. Let's talk about healing with Andre that's Alexander. That's for sure, I get it up and get it going, yeah. Yes. Um, let's get into the session. Absolutely. All right. So, how do yeah, I like, just relax? Be comfortable. Okay. Yeah. Here so, um, this is there's two ways to do it. Of course, there's no touch or light touch. Okay. What are you comfortable with? You can do a light touch. Light touch. Okay. All right. So just breathe with me. All right, you guys. Welcome back to Q Talks, and we bought the session outside. Now we are out here, you know, acting like Tyler Perry, sweating up in the sun. Hot, Woo. sunny California. Now we just had my Reiki session. Um, I want to guess. I guess this is with the part where I lead it towards you, and you tell me your session. What happens after a session? Oh yeah, yeah, really cool. So typically, what happens after a session is um, we have the discussion. You mm-hmm. know, how was the session? What did you feel? I tell you what I felt, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They exchange, um, you know, what our experiences. Yeah. Then um, I end the session personally by going meditating in like the bathroom near the water, running my hands underneath the water. You know, just so I can break the connection between us, uh, so that you can leave, I can leave. I'm not carrying your weight. Interesting. You have to wash your hands to break the connection. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So you didn't wash your hands yet. So all right, we're at the. Uh, we're now scan my body. Tell me what you felt. Tell me what we re- like. What do you remember? Where are my tensions? Where? What's going on with me? Well, I remember specifically your lower back. It was like I literally felt this. Like it looked like a ball of yarn. Yes. So I put a lot of energy there. And I I'm not gonna lie. I felt when that your hands there, I just felt like a, a tension release. It just felt wow. like it was lining up like this. At- <clears throat> we did it. All right, let's- <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and then also, like you know, I kept being drawn to like your feet. 
And then mm. um, I told you I felt a lot of activity, oh, you know, here. In my you, throat. Mm -hmm, because, you know, she was, I can feel like she has a lot That's to say. That's New York in there. Is that what it is? Um, or is the, all of the above. My mom, my sister, <laughs> my got things New York. to say? I got a lot to say. Mm -hmm. Like my mom say, my response stay at the tip of my tongue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But also a really active heart space, heart center, mm -hmm. which is really good. So it's like, it comes from a good place, but you're going to say it. Do you guys hear that? I, I'm yelling at you, but I love you. So that means that my heart is in a good place. It's not at oh, all. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, it was good. It was good. Okay, like, so did you feel? Yeah. one thing I did feel like on the top of my head, once you got to the top of my head, I felt like a release. Like there was just, I don't know, you didn't really touch me much, but there was just like, I felt like something open. It was just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so what? what is that? Like what, what I know this is your crown chakra, but mm -hmm. there's a chakra above your crown. Yeah, yeah well, it's depending on which uh, modality you're into, it's a lot more above. But um, what happens is, I just want to make sure every space is open and active and clean and clear. And then at the end, which is when I get to near your crown chakra, is where I just, you know, imagine like, you know, the the the, the energy of God, the universal energy going through to blow like light through whatever the any spaces that needs. It's like almost like a um, like taking a like a blower through a you know through a faucet or something. All the debris. You know? Like, we're going to get, like, right into you, but talking about releasing the debris, because I do want to get on into your history and where you come from in yeah. your practice. Mm -hmm. But there was one thing I can say, like, after your Reiki healing, I'm not going to lie, the releasing of the debris, I actually cried. What? Yeah, That's yo, awesome. Like, this new thing about crying ain't really it for me, but, um, yeah, yeah. like, I was bawling. Like, I just felt like everything in me just, like, Pain. That's it. That's it. That's it. I mean, of course, there's, you know, we, we go to massage and that also is, you know, massaging memories and, and past things out of your cells. You can go through things like um, acupuncture, which deals with the oh. meridians and the entire uh, nervous system. And this also, uh, if you look at this, the research and the studies, this also uh, positively benefits the nervous system as well. So it's just about, you know, making sure everything is flowing to the per perfect places in the heart and everything just, else is cool. Like, good. talk crying about research good. and study and crying, mm -hmm. crying is good. Um, let's talk about your background. So your name, Andre Alexander. Andre um, Alexander. Reiki healer, musician, like tell professor. us what else about mm -hmm. professor. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are a professor. Yeah, yeah. Um, so tell us more about, let's start from the beginning. Where did you start? What made you get into Reiki healing or your profession? Well, it's so interesting. Well, I grew up, I was born in a musical family. So everybody sings, plays, that's something wow. of that nature. And then I grew up in church, you know, grandmother's elder in the church, which means I was a musician mm -hmm. playing a B3 organ, getting them going, all these things. B3 organ, yeah, listen, yeah. he got names, all right. Yeah, yeah, all those things. But then like, you know, you see the pastor laying hands and prophesying all these things. And as a kid, it's growing up in this country church, everything is always super spiritual and mm. it is mystical, which is, you know, it is a positive part of it. Yeah. But then I kept thinking like, yo, it's gotta be somebody explaining what's going on with it. So I um, stumbled across Reiki because the, the person, the monk who, who found Mm -hmm. One of his his followers, disciples, asked him, how was Jesus or Buddha, all these people, able to heal people with touch or even without touching them? They were sending blessings to places. So he just pondered and roamed and roamed and roamed. And he okay. stumbled across these symbols, mm. Sanskrit symbols, that he was able to meditate on. And all of a sudden, he felt like he got touched and his eye was open and he could see how these symbols were able to be utilized to, to do these same things. Wow. So it's the same exact modality as going to church. It's the same thing, but you notice you don't. I didn't have to touch you for you no, to feel it. You so it's the same kind of a thing. So you don't have to touch. You can. Uh, the first level of Reiki deals with you knowing the what is it? The eighteen points. Mm -hmm. Is it eighteen? Watch. I'm about to mess up. Y'all can Google it, fact check, whatever it is. <laughs> but yeah, um, like it's like a uh, twelve or 13, I think it's. 13, 20, whatever it is. That no, 18, it's 18, okay. it is, it's 18. Okay. 10 on the front, eight on the back is because when you get to the master level, you don't have to use all 18 anymore, but you teach the first 18 for the first level. Second level of Reiki is where you, have, you can actually take like a, a pillow or a doll or something else, a crystal and has it have it be a, a surrogate for you. So you don't have to actually be with me for me to do a Reiki session. You just on you. literally explain a voodoo doll. So look, watch this, watch this, watch this. The thing is they will take what 
we consider normal practices uh -huh. and regular spiritual what's in nature that you think about somebody they call you what's the difference between that and me blessing you but they demonize it so that we don't use what our natural history is so it's not being you can take that same concept of a voodoo doll and say I bless you I'm making sure that you're you're whole you're healthy you're healthy you're happy you can send blessings it's not always about cursing someone so it's, it is what it is so that's the Asian culture who does it so why is it when they do it it's a blessing but when we do it it's, it's a curse so all I'm going to say is whatever yes it is energy energy is energy that's what I'm going to say that's it yeah yeah okay so talking about energy and learning about the masters and the levels yeah, of yeah. Reiki tell us about your study your behind practice what did did you go to schooling for this did mm -hmm. you like what, how did, what was the process like yeah it's so interesting so I started I got I started the process in New York with a friend out there and learning it I love New York I was in Brooklyn mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. you know, I'm watching, from Washington D.C. originally born in Maryland raised in Washington D.C. moved to Los Angeles all like these 13 New years York ago. is out here yeah. yes yeah, but then I did a lot of work in New York, so I'm actually not from New York, but I love New York. All right. Um, <laughs> I do love New York. Uh, my dog is coming to say what's up. Oh, and he leaves. No, no, no. You want to say what's up, bro? No, you did all of that? You're not going to finish the process? This is Pac. He's nuts. He's crazy. Okay, all yep, right. There goes Pac. All right, this is Pac. This is what he does. He steals the, the spotlight, the limelight. He's got things to say. He has friends. He has a mixtape coming out. All right, I'm with him. All right, go do something, bro. All right. But um, let's go back to your study. Yeah. Your so basically, um, studied and researched in New York. Mm -hmm. Then I found a teachers and just started going through the process of going through the attunements and it's really cool again I didn't I don't think I finished the story attunement level one you learn the 18 points you can do this with your children you can do this with anyone they can all do this from a young age level two that's when you you're able to again send blessings um, to people from distance also you learn the symbols and how to utilize them and activate them level three is where uh, the master teacher level which is where I am is where you can actually um, <laughs> you can do that but you, you can actually intuitively know where to go and you don't have to take the entire hour to an hour and a half for each session yes. so that's why you could take a 30 minute session a 15 minute session and still be impactful no mine mine was very really short but yet very impactful i'm not going to lie but um okay so you went to the schooling what mm -hmm. if someone is interested in being in your position or interested yeah. in taking reiki healing what what courses would you recommend yeah. can is this like a specific a specific school for it or it's phenomenal okay so literally you find someone who is um uh, a Reiki master, make Reiki master a tune, you have master to teacher find a tune. a master mm -hmm. teacher. Yeah, but you can, they're all over the world. Oh, right. you can Google. Okay, yeah, can okay. Google. I was like, yo, this is some like yes. samurai got to go find a master teacher. That's it, all of that. Oh, it's a wow. journey. It's a process. All right. <laughs> Karate you, kid. All, all right. of that. So then you do that and you basically sit with them and you go through each level and you're learning what, what does it mean, how to literally clear yourself. Because think about this, when you turn on a water faucet and you're getting a cup of water, the water faucet is getting the energy too. So every time you do a session, it's also coming to you to heal you and going to wherever you needed to go so it doesn't have yes. to be touching the right you can be doing it wrong touching the wrong thing but the person's gonna feel it where they need to feel it so it's just about you getting out of the way and you being yes. clear and perfect channel you know that's amazing mm -hmm. so yes, okay so process. step one you guys find a master and mm -hmm. then you get go through the process go through the process he's a master <laughs> <laughs> so for those who may be interested in contacting Andre Alexander, look at the camera and let us know where we can find you. Well, uh, you can find me. You can just Google me. Honestly, it's really simple. My name's probably somewhere on the screen, I guess. <laughs> A-N-D-R-A-E Alexander, Andre Alexander. You can just Google that or find me on Instagram or, you know, call somebody. They'll hit you up. Call Tyrone. Call <laughs> Tyrone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, you guys. Well, there you guys have it. We are here with Andre Alexander. You guys know where to find them. I'm Master Reiki. So if you guys need to some learning, contact him. All right. Till later. Bye. Flo's Grocery, an online platform for black, indigenous and people of color to sell their products. E-Grocer, 100% supplied by black owned brands for daily needs. I'ma get lazy. I got the mojo deals. We been trapping like the eighties. So got the cash out. Told them wipe and wipe. No, say slash slash. I won't never sell my soul. And I can back that. And I really wanna know where you at. Where I was at that. And now time for artist of the week. Introducing Ricky. What you doing? 
I'm all up in your sauce and your moment and I wanna see what's really good with your coming. Show me your fluent, like oh my goodness, come over to me. I'm digging your speech, it's like Hennessy, it's smooth, baby. Smooth, baby. All the mother girls try to get close to your heart and they never did. All them bitches, they try to get into your pants and they always win. But you should settle down with a girl like me. You should settle down with a girl like me. All the way up with a girl like me. Fuck it all up with a girl like me, like me, yeah. I don't know, I'm just flirting this shit. I don't know if it's the weed or the licks. I don't know if I even see a future in this. But if I take it there, can you handle it, handle mine? My name is Andre Alexander, and you're watching Q Talks. Talkers, prepare for two back to back events in LA. Get excited, but proof of vaccination required.